Hello guys, my name is Tegan and today my husband and I are going to show you how simple and easy it is to install a bidet spray. You might also know it as a Muslim shower, a toilet hose or a bum gun. Perhaps you're from a country where a bidet is commonplace and you've moved to a country like Australia where they are certainly not. Maybe you have small pipes and are hoping to reduce the endless clogs of toilet paper. You might want to use one on soiled nappies or diapers. Do you want to put an end to the over versus under debate? It's over, by the way. Or perhaps you just want to make your loo experience cleaner and greener. Healthier for you and the environment. We bought this bidet hose set for just under $50 on eBay from China. It arrived in less than a week and we're really pleased with the quality. There are plenty of much cheaper ones on eBay but we hadn't heard great reviews on the plastic ones and I really wanted this particular design. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. Along with a towel and maybe something like a wrench, this is all you need. The set came with a bidet spray, a tea adapter valve with a tap. This is the only piece you might need to measure as I think standard sizes might vary from country to country. A hose and two rubber o-rings for each end of the hose. These are very important for preventing leaks. It also came with a holder that you can attach to the wall to hang the bidet. Before you get started, it's a good idea to put a towel down because it's highly likely you're going to get at least some water on the floor. This is what our water to cistern connection looks like now. You want to turn it off at the tap on the wall nice and tightly. And empty the cistern as much as you can by flushing the toilet a couple of times. This will stop a huge blue flood in our case all over the floor when you open up the hose. Unscrew the connection to the system. You might need a wrench or another tool to help if it's really tight. You can see there is a rubber o-ring in here so make sure you don't lose it. Now take your T-adapter valve and screw it onto the system. There is only one connection where this will attach, so there's no need to be confused. Just screw it on nice and firmly. Now connect your water hose to the adapter. We're attaching ours to this connection so that there will be a constant flow of water into the toilet system. Whereas the tap on the adapter valve controls the flow of water to the pipe directly opposite. This way we can adjust the pressure of or turn the bidet spray on and off. Now it's time to attach the bidet hose. There are two different ends. The longer end is suited to the bidet spray and the smaller piece will attach to the adapter valve. Take one o-ring and place it inside the end and screw on the hose firmly to the pipe opposite the tap. Place the other o-ring inside the other end of the hose and screw on the spray. And now you should be ready to test it. Make sure there are no leaks from any of the connections, that your cistern is filling and flushing correctly, and that your tap to the spray is working. You can then decide the placement of your spray. That's entirely up to you. You can buy sprays with holders that hook over the cistern, but we screwed ours straight into the wall at our most comfortable height. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or interesting. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. See you next time. Bye.